Okay, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we're going to take this one step further. We, we've done a simple function to get a integer, just a plain integer, and then we have one that's between 1 and 10 or whatever we decide to do. But here we have a function that gets five integers. We're, we're doing it here. We're getting an integer five times, but the user really doesn't know what's going on. So let's comment this out here and come out this out here and let's run the program one more time and let's see what happens. So we're going to enter a number and we're going to do 10, 11. It has no idea how many times that you need to do anything. So we need to tell the user how many times. Now we can do it inside of get integer but then we'd have to pass um the starting number in here so there's there's different ways to do the exact same thing so what i want to do here is i want to create a function called get integer here but this time we're going to pass a string so we're going to tell the user inside of the function here that what we need to do. So we need to write this function here. And I'm going to take care of that. So we're going to string and we'll call it prompt. Now remember one of the things that I've said to you is there's never just one way to do something. So don't get hung up on it has to be done a certain way. So we're going to return a number. Now this time we're going to basically have the exact same code in here. So I probably should make this num and num then I can copy this code here. And this time, instead of C out, enter a number, we're going to do C out prompt. And we're going to pass the prompt to it. So what we'll do is that, and again, uh, what we're going to do here is find, get a number in here. So let's just do pass or enter. Five numbers, but that still doesn't tell the user how we're actually going to how many numbers to get in here. So we're going to enhance the program and we're actually going to create a prompt that's going to tell the user enter one of five, two of five, three of five, four of five. We can't do it here because then we'd have to have five different prompts. So let's do this first and then I'll show you how easy it is to do. So let's click on run the program and see what happens. So enter five numbers. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that takes care of that. Well, that doesn't really help us a real lot because we don't know what number is and what it's not in here. So what we want to do is let's create a string variable. Oops, we'll call it prompt. So we saw that we have an issue because it's just going to keep saying enter five numbers. And it's very easy to lose track of how many numbers. So what we can do here is let's try this. Let's do enter. And then let's do 
a plus sign. Remember with strings, you can use a plus sign to concatenate this. So let's see if this actually works and we really don't have to use this prompt right now. But I think what I'll do is do the prompt just so you can see maybe it'll be a little bit more clear. So let's do prompt. I can spell equals enter. Now we cannot do this. So you would think we could do this, but you can't do that because you can't do a plus with a string. So what you can do this is to string. And we're going to get an error message because we need to use string, include string. And let's see if that goes away. So now it went away and then And then we'll do get integer and we'll just call it prompt. And let's just see if that helps out. So let's take a look at what we did. We're using prompt. Now we could have done this inside of here, but I just feel it's a little bit more clear to declare something called prompt and create it here. So we're doing enter. We're converting I. So the first time it's going to be one. We're converting that to a one string and then it would be, it'd be like this. If, if it was this, just like that. So let's get rid of this here and let's run this program and see if it actually works. Now, remember again, I say this all the time, do one thing and test it. So it says enter one of five numbers. So we'll do 10. Enter two of five numbers. Enter three of five numbers. Enter four of five numbers. And enter five of five numbers. So how can we enhance this? So right now it's working just fine. So now again, these are things that are little tricks that you need um, to not worry about, but you're gonna, in case you want to experiment with things, we can use an if statement to actually create a little better of a prompt in here. So what we can do is do something like this. And again, don't worry about if, uh, you don't feel comfortable doing it. So let's just go if I equals one, then what we're going to do is prompt equals instead of this we'll just do first of five numbers so let's test this out here and what do we why do we have a error in here enter so what are we missing we must have something. Looking to see what little idiot mistake I'm making. So we changed this back to enter the first of five numbers. It didn't seem to like um, enter plus the first of five numbers. Uh, I'll go back and look later on and see what so we think I did. So then what we want to do is else if. Now we have one. So what we want to do here is 
i less than 5. And then we can do our prompt equals this here and then i'm going to show you a problem uh and but we're not going to fix it today so let's go and do else and let's just do and we'll change this to the last so let's see if this works so what we're doing here is we're checking to see instead of doing one of five we'll do we're just changing it to the first of five numbers and then we're doing the last of five numbers so we're just doing a little bit of enhancement so we're checking here to see if i is one so that would obviously be the first then um five is the last so anything less than five we need to do this and then if it's if it's not less than five, um, then it must be five in here because we're doing it here and we'll go and enter the last. So let's see if this actually works. So it does say enter the first of five numbers, enter two, um, and we'll do um, 11, 12, 13, and enter the last of five numbers. So that worked over there. So that's a very simple, quick and dry way of doing things. But our problem is what happens if we want to get 10 numbers? So that's where we struggle. So what you would need to do here is you would need to just create a either a constant or a um, integer that you would do how many numbers do you want to get and then you would put it in instead of five you would put that number there and put this number here as well otherwise you would have to change this and change but then we would only need to do one so let's go and change this but this problem we run into with uh, of five numbers in here because it would still say five so in our next uh video I'm going to show you how to do that, but for right now, this is all we're going to do. So what we did here, again, we we just made a little nice prompt in here. And you can do anything where you want. This is just a simple thing of taking enter. It's converting the number uh, one or whatever I value is to a string and adding them together. And then we're doing uh, five numbers. And then we're passing that to the user so they can input the five numbers. And then we're getting it and we're passing the prompt, which gets the five numbers. So that is it for this one. Hope this was helpful.